In a startling development, Ukrainian intelligence agents successfully located and exposed a hidden Russian training center situated in southern Ukraine. The strategic coordinates were swiftly transmitted to a HIMARS-guided multiple launch rocket system team stationed within range. Utilizing precise targeting, the first salvo of strikes was directed at Russian soldiers on a rifle range, resulting in a significant number of casualties. The subsequent barrage zeroed in on neighboring habitations suspected to house numerous Russian personnel. Employing a calculated airburst technique, the GMLRS munitions detonated directly above the intended targets, releasing an onslaught of densely packed tungsten fragments that effortlessly pierced through any strictures in their path. In a separate development, gripping drone footage documented the daring assault of a Ukrainian tank upon a heavily fortified Russian-held village. The tank, emboldened by its own main gunfire, advanced steadfastly while under a barrage of fire from entrenched Russian positions. The tumultuous encounter saw multiple high-explosive impacts reverberating around the Ukrainian armor, prompting the tank to execute an evasive button-hook maneuver to expediently exit the danger zone. The footage further showcased a series of calculated explosions resonating within the besieged village, an aftermath attributed to the relentless artillery bombardment and collaborative support fire from allied Ukrainian vehicles. This synchronized effort culminated in the liberation of the village, as the Ukrainian armed forces triumphantly reasserted their control over the strategic location known as Eurochain. Adding to the series of pivotal achievements on the Zaporizhia front, a pivotal engagement on August 20, 2023, witnessed the Ukrainian anti-aircraft unit effectively shooting down a Russian Ka-52 alligator attack helicopter. The incident occurred near the vicinity of Robotai and served as a testament to Ukraine's robust anti-aircraft capabilities. Evidence from the scene suggests that the Russian helicopters had been operating at an altitude deemed perilously high given the well-documented threat posed by manned portable anti-air defenses. In stark contrast to planes, which often glide following impact, helicopters demonstrated a tendency to plummet directly downward often resulting in a catastrophic crash. Intriguingly, it is speculated that the helicopter's ejection seat system might have been activated subsequent to the strike, potentially indicating a last-ditch escape attempt by the pilot. Drone footage, captured and released by the DDoT, chronicles the intense combat search and rescue operation launched to recover the downed Ka-52 pilot in the vicinity of Robotine. This operation demonstrates the unwavering determination and capabilities of the Ukrainian armed forces in their efforts to safeguard their nation's security. In a significant blow to Russian military invasion, Russia's aggressive campaign against Ukraine has taken a severe toll as Ukrainian armed forces continue to mount a resolute defense. In the past 24 hours alone, Ukrainian forces have eliminated 460 Russian combatants and neutralized 19 Russian artillery systems, 14 armored combat vehicles, and 12 tanks. Reports from the Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister, Hannah Malier, detail significant advancements on the battlefield. Just last week, Ukrainian military forces liberated a substantial three square kilometers near Bakhmut. The northern front near Bakhmut, has seen fierce confrontations as Ukrainian troops hold key vantage points, thwarting the enemy's attempts to regain control. The fighting remains intense as the enemy struggles to dislodge Ukrainian defenders from these crucial positions. Additionally, the southern flank of Bakhmut has witnessed triumphant progress, with another three square kilometers liberated by Ukrainian defenders. In total, an impressive 43 square kilometers have been reclaimed around the city of Bakhmut. In the Donetsk region's Mariinka area, Ukrainian defense forces have skillfully contained the advance of Russian troops. The enemy's efforts to retake lost ground near the recently liberated Eurozhny have proven futile, leading to reported 32 combat clashes within a single day. Further west in the Zaporizhia region, Ukrainian fighters have made headway near Robotny, clearing minefields and engaging behind the initial line of enemy defense, 
Ukrainian forces demonstrate their unwavering determination. The Ukrainian forces have continued to deliver decisive blows to the Russian army, causing a significant loss of life and equipment. In the Tavria direction, Alexander Tarnovsky, commander of the Operational and Strategic Group of Troops Tavria, reports 232 Russian soldiers, 27 units of equipment, six warehouses, and a command and observation post eliminated within the past day. Turning to the skies, Ukraine's pursuit of air superiority remains a top priority. Spokesman for Ukraine's Air Force, Yuri Init, emphasizes the urgent need for 128 new fighter jets to replace aging aircraft and secure vital air dominance. In it revealed that the strategic vision encompasses four aircraft brigades, of which 42 F-16s are a pivotal component. Ukrainian President Zelensky and his wife Olina have embarked on a pivotal visit to the Kingdom of the Netherlands, centering on securing F-16 fighter jets for Ukraine. President Zelensky and Prime Minister Mark Rutte toured the Eindhoven Air Base, where these potent aircraft are stationed. With an air of breakthrough, President Zelensky announces a landmark agreement. A minimum of 42 fair at 16 fighters will grace Ukrainian skies. The Netherlands and Denmark have committed to transferring F-16 aircraft following the culmination of the pilot training program and necessary infrastructure preparation, signaling a strong alliance in Ukraine's quest for enhanced defense capabilities.